everyone, it's day 60, round three of the body coach. And that means I'm two thirds of the way through my third plan. I'll be submitting cycle two results on Saturday and then getting on with cycle three. So apart from feeling hungry the last few days, which happens in waves um, from time to time, I'm absolutely fine. So I'm just drinking lots of water and I am being slightly naughty and having the odd sugar-free polo mint. Oh my God, the world's gonna end because I've eaten a polo mint. Um, to try and stave off the hunger. And I'm sure in a couple of days again, it'll it, my body will regulate and I'll be fine. So that's that. But interestingly, somebody said to me today, we got talking about the silly season and they said, are you gonna drink over Christmas? And I said, no. Um, well, are you going to indulge in, you know, some nice meals or some puddings or chocolate? And I said, no, other than on Christmas Day. And, and this person looked at me and said, oh, my God, you must be so miserable not being able to eat or drink what you want. Now, what an interesting comment that is, because if I roll back 12 months ago and somebody had said to me, oh, yeah, you know, I'm really into health and fitness and I'm eating really healthily and I don't drink alcohol. I would have probably have said the same thing to them. But let me see it through my new eyes. And let me say that, no, I don't feel miserable because it's not that I'm not allowed to do those things because I'm not on a diet. I am choosing not to do them for health reasons and for reasons that make me feel fabulous. So I could spend the whole of December going out to parties, drinking alcohol, having a wonderful hangover each morning, how good would that be? Um, eating chocolate, you know, eating cream cakes. And in the moment, I might get a really big high from doing that. But come January, I'll have put on half a stone. And yes, I can work hard and get that back off again. But what's the point? What's the point when I don't have to do that because I can still eat really lovely food I can still drink nice drinks that aren't calorific and I can do that wearing beautiful dresses, gorgeous shoes, seeing my cheekbones, seeing the shape of my face looking nice and pointed rather than a big moon face, seeing gorgeous definition in my arms, seeing my waist, feeling how hard my legs are instead of all wobbly and full of cellulite and feeling beautiful. Why would I choose alcohol, cakes and chocolate over that? It's just no competition. So yes, I'm gonna have Christmas day off and eat whatever I want on that day for one day only to get balance. But the rest of the time, I'll just do what I do and I'll let the natural endorphins that I get from exercise keep this smile planted firmly on my face.